Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here in this nice, floral, scenic filming location because guess what? We have a truck here that's making some history. This is it right here. What is it? It's the first ever Chevrolet Silverado ZR2, but guess what? This isn't a regular ZR2. This is the all new Bison Edition. But before we get into this beefed up, steroid induced Chevy Silverado, let's talk about what's going on here. The Silverado name, it's been basically the bread and butter of Chevy's truck lineup for years. But guess what? The first time the Silverado name was ever put on a Chevy truck was back in 1975. It was not the name of the model, it was a trim. It was a new top trim to Chevy's CK full-size truck lineup, and that's where we see Silverado. In 1999, right before Y2K, is where they brought the Silverado name to the actual model. Now, what's exciting is, is that the Silverado has received some changes over the years. It recently just got a refresh but for the first time last year, we were there out in the desert with the new ZR2 Silverado. Well, guess what? You'll still be able to get a ZR2. Now, working with AEV, they are bringing you the Bison. So what I wanna find out is, with what you're getting, if you check off that Bison option on the option list, is this worth the price in the end for what you're getting? especially if you want that beefed up off-roader, or are you better off just going Raptor or something equivalent to that? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our Silverado ZR2 Bison and find out. Right off the bat, the color. I love this blue on the whole Silverado lineup, especially the ZR2. If you didn't see our review when we were out in the desert over in Palm Springs, I'll leave the link to that review at the end of this one. Like I said, they're still gonna have the Trail Boss, Still gonna have the ZR2, now you have a Bison edition. Now, right off the bat, the way to tell that this is a Bison compared to the standard ZR2 is that the standard ZR2, this is all black. On the Bison, you'll notice how they take the body color through the grill horizontally. You're still gonna get your massive, look at this, my whole hand fits in there. Massive flow tie, remember that first appeared on the 2014 Camaro Z28. Never seen a flow tie this big. This is one that Flava Flav would hang around his neck instead of the clock. I do like the way they put the red on the inside perimeter of the flow tie just to make it pop. And then as we come across, you'll notice that we have the ZR2 badge, just like before, but with that body color matching, we have our LED lighting, full LED on the headlights, and of course, the turn singles and daytime running lamps. Now. Besides just this, this isn't it. Here come some of the other big changes. You're gonna have a stamped steel, full front bumper from AEV. We have our LED fog lamps. I am gonna have to zonk it because there are some fake vent areas. But as we kind of drop down together, you'll see that AEV badge. I'll have Steven kind of zoom in, show you the bison. What does AEV stand for? American expedition vehicles underneath you're going to get a total of five skid plates that protect the whole underbelly of this beast over 11 inches of ground clearance so that's another nice touch that you get when you go bison but you'll see you get yourself some tow hooks you're going to be able to yank a raptor right out of that quicksand very easily now as we rise back up you're going to get your hood bulge just like on a ZR2, my one zonk is it's not functional. The good news is it's not meant to look like it has a functional hood scoop or anything like that, but you got the bulge, it's gloss black. It does give it a nice extra kind of, mm, look at the front end of that thing. And if you need a bulge, just like a lot of people out there want the bulge, you're getting your bulge on this Bison. Now when we come around the bend, here's one of my favorite touches. You're gonna get Bison specific wheels. I love this rotary style design, that metallic carbon flash metallic paint job. There's the AEV badge, it's an 18 inch wheel, 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires with all that protection. And then you'll notice as we zoom in, you get that full beefed up suspension from Chevrolet, the upper control arm, the springs. Please excuse the dirt and the mud. Obviously, we've been having a little bit of fun in this Bison. Now, as we come down the side, you do have flat black around the fender openings. I'm okay with that on this type of truck. 
Nobody does the badges better than Chevy. ZR2 looking good. And of course, underneath the hood, we got the 6.2 liter V8 engine. Gloss black on your mirror caps, 360 degree cameras. You'll notice that really beefy frame slider, also known as a rock slider for when you're going off-road. You're gonna have front and rear electronic locking diffs, two-speed transfer case, of course, gloss black on the mirror caps. And then as we work towards the rear, you'll notice that you have that roof spoiler coming off the back of the cab. Love the way this comes with the tonneau cover. Gives you some nice weatherproof lockable storage in the bed. Down below, you see that beefy steel frame. We got a nice custom exhaust. The bison badge, I like the way it's not too big. This doesn't need to be some big gaudy bison on the side of the vehicle. For those who know, will know, especially when you're off-roading. They'll know that you're in a bison. And then of course we have LED lighting on the tail. We have our multifunctional flex tailgate. And when you go bison, you're gonna get that nice satin black finish. American Expedition vehicles with the bison. And then as we go down, stamped steel rear bumpers as well. Exhaust is tucked underneath. You got your spare, your towing capability. And then of course, that nice soft release on the bed with the full liner, ZR2 badge at the front. You got your power supply on the passenger side, which is great right here. Nice power supply. You got your LED lighting. That tonneau cover slides forward. And just like we showed you before, very easy to flex your multi-positional tailgate with the handle. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and check out the heart of this bison. All right guys, we got the hood open. You do have hood struts. Underneath the hood is that tried and true 6.2 liter V8. The one zonk I have is I wish that they gave it the performance package that you could get on the new Tahoe RST that we brought to you. But there's nothing wrong with 6.2 liters of naturally aspirated V8 goodness, 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque, made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 5.7 seconds. MPGs, if you really care, you're watching the ROM review. 14 in the city, 17 on the highway. The truck weighs 5,800 pounds. Here's where you're really gonna see the advantage is approach and departure angles. 32 and a half degrees worth of front approach, 23.4 degrees of rear departure angles, which is gonna allow you to freaking go through just about anything with this bison. But you know what? It's great to look at it. What I wanna find out is what is it here like? So let's go ahead, let's fire up this bison and hear its roar. All right, guys, we are inside this 2023 ZR2 Silverado Bison. First time ever with Chevy having the Bison name, like I said. I know you're wondering, well, Joe, let's get down to the nitty gritty. I got my abacus out. I need to know how much this is to see if I could afford it. What is it? Lay it on me. Here it is. You asked. MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, is right around $81,000 to put it in perspective for you. The Bison package from AEV is right around $8,000. Technically like $7,900. But let's see what you get for that extra money to the door panels. I love what Chevy has done with the Silverado. The soft material up top, you have that great kind of like gray finish trim right above the midsection there. You got the neon yellow stitching and then a door pocket that's very beefy. Two big Bufords from Checkers, two strawberry milkshakes, and the Bose sound system looks good. Going from the door panel to the dash, same thing. Look at the materials. Never before has there been a Silverado with these materials. You open this up, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's where you're gonna put your 22, 22 off-road Twinkies. Remember, off-road Twinkies are filled with fudge. Close it up, there's that gray trim like on the door panel, the dark chrome, 
slide on in, what do you have? We have over 13 inches of infotainment system screen. I like the way it's integrated with the rest of the dash. You got a place up here where you can put two of those off-road Twinkies to get them warmed up. And then, of course, Google Maps. Chevy does a great job. GM does a great job with their infotainment, the graphics. I mean, look at this clock. You can hang that on the wall at your house, but you can slide real easily. Whatever you got going on this side, do your checklist for towing. We got all of our different cameras. I mean, you got more cameras than what Circuit City had when Circuit City was in business before Best Buy put them out of business. Trajectory, I mean, it's just 360, super clear. Really like all of that great flexibility. You even got, you can see into the bed if the tonneau cover wasn't up. And then of course you got your trailering where you could put your trailer line in there. Really, really nice the way they have that. Even zoom in, working our way down. All your toggle switches, you can lock the rear diff, front and rear diff, more of that gray trim, a real volume knob, two knobs for your AC because we got dual climate, clear readouts, three stages of ventilated seats, and then you got the heated seats, three stages as well, USB-C, USB-A. You got your trailering release, your start-stop button. We do have a nice place to put two glazed Krispy Kreme donuts two cup holders, maybe for some hot cocoa, a place to put some Slim Jims. This is gonna control that 10 speed automatic transmission. On the side, you got a pocket here with some of that nice gray trim. Put some Nature Valley granola bars and a couple napkins because we all know that those make a ton of a mess in, in here. Wireless charging, there's more of that great material. Look at that, look how soft that is. I love it, the stitching. Lift it up. This is a great place because you could put a whole NES system in here and game cartridges. You could put the remotes in here. You got a USB-C, USB-A, and a home power source. I remember the day I got my NES. It was for my 10th birthday. I was, uh, I was pretty happy. The good old days, as I like to call them. Seats, you got the Bison and AEV embroidery, the yellow stitching, nice design. Of course, you got full electric assist for the passenger, full electric assist for the driver. I guess the bummer is, is that you just have a standard size sunroof. It would like, be nice to have a panoramic sunroof in here. They do it on the Raptor, but they do a great job when it comes to their digital rear view mirrors. I do like that camera quality. But why don't you get your butt over here at the business end? I wanna show you that I got 12 inches over here behind the wheel. Come on over in the Silverado. All right, guys, behind the wheel of this bison. Now, what's kind of cool is, remember, a bison burger is actually better than a beef burger, than a cattle burger. The reason why is it's leaner meat, and they taste pretty good. Let me know in the comment section if you had a bison burger right about now. Dropping it like it's hot. We got our ZR2 silt plate. We have our AEV all-weather floor mats with the bison. That's worth an extra five horsepower. Seat controls within fingertips reach. Where's the beef? I got it right here on the steering wheel. Leather all the way around, blacked out bow tie. It is a heated steering wheel. Plastic paddles is a bummer. I wish this had some type of metal, magnesium, titanium, platinum, something rather than the plastic. You do have electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And you also have your four x four system controls right here. And remember we have a ginormous head up display. Now, I promised you 12 inches. I'm not gonna disappoint. You have 12 inches of digital gauge cluster. Of course, you have a cornucopia of information in that center display. And then on top of that, you got your different modes. There's the lights, then you got your modes. Off-road, of course, we got all-terrain mode. I like the little graphic over here. Of the Technically, that's a ZR2. It's not a Bison, because it's got a gloss black grill. But the great news is you do have your different modes depending on what you want. But the head-up display has all the pertinent information. And if you need more room on the interior, your name is either Shaquille O'Neal or Jolly Green Giant. There's plenty of room in here for everybody. Let's check out the back seat and see where your passengers are gonna experiencing the off-roading pleasure of this bicycle. Right, guys, back seat time, and this is just a moving apartment. Uh, that you're gonna take off-roading. Tons of space back here. Large pockets, you can easily put a Dungeons and Dragons game board and all the pieces. We do have our two cup holders. 
What's inside here? There's your Chevrolet key fob. Would be nice if it said Bison on it or had the Bison. You have remote start and all that good stuff. Heated seats, three stages, no ventilated seats is a zonk to me at this price point. Like the AC vents, USB-C, USB-A. Plenty of room. Seats are comfy as heck. You got that Charmin soft armrest, two cup holders, power sliding cab window. And then of course you can lift this up and you have storage in here. I'll remove this out of the way, whatever that is. It's like garbage. But you have your storage underneath. Or if you need to get a big, huge block of cheese, like you went straight to Wisconsin to Sargento's and you asked them for a big, huge cube of Swiss, you could put it back here with the seats up. Don't have to put it in the bed because by the time if you put it on the bed, by the time you make it home, it might be melted Swiss cheese. Just something to think about. But here's another thing to think about. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in this Bison. All right, guys, here we are in this 2023 Silverado ZR2 Bison Edition. If you're ready, I'm ready. We're gonna go on throttle, on throttle. 10 speed drops down and we are off and running. What's great is, is everything that makes the ZR2 so special, you're getting that, plus some in this Bison Edition. And obviously, you know, this truck is built for extreme off-roading. In Florida, we unfortunately don't have those extreme conditions for off-roading, but let's be honest, a lot of people that buy these will be driving them to and from work, so I figured let's go ahead and get on the asphalt jungle and see how this vehicle drives. Now, with those 33-inch off-road Goodyear tires, you are going to get a bit of road noise, but that should be no surprise to you. That that comes with the territory when you go with a truck like this. One thing that may surprise you if you haven't been in a new truck in a while is just the amenities. I mean, once upon a time when I was a kid, my dad had a Ford pickup truck and like, it was just a bench seat and that's it. This, you have heated seats, ventilated seats. You have all of the controls right within your grasp and you got the digital gauge display. It's got the um, augmented reality where you could adjust for that spacing between vehicles when you're using your adaptive cruise control. It's got that 10 speed automatic transmission that does a great smooth job of shifting through the gears. And then the suspension, it's very, very comfortable in here. You got your mega bulge. It's like Megatron's bulge on the hood. Even though it's not functional, it looks pretty killer, especially when you're coming up behind people in their rear view mirror. And then you got tons of space. And I love the way it's got the tonneau cover for that weatherproof storage in the bed of the truck. But I think for me, I would just like to see a little bit different touches on the interior to separate this from the standard ZR2. Steering feels great. You have your different modes, depending on what is happening underneath the four corners of this truck. Going into this corner here, the great news is it doesn't like sway all over the place. It's a very controllable driving experience and I really like that in this Bison. All right, guys, get ready for it. We're gonna go on throttle as soon as this vehicle passes. On throttle, here we go. You're definitely gonna have your pulling power and of course, your merging power, even though you're in this massive full-size truck. But going down the road, onto the highway, it feels good. It really does feel good with the way the engine and the transmission behaves with one another you got all your safety features power folding mirrors 360 degree cameras seats are comfy supportable and of course are heated and ventilated visibility the side mirrors they do a great job on the shape of the side mirrors they don't look like billboard signs like big huge rectangles so that's kind of nice as well but cruising down the road here on the highway, this is how a lot of people are gonna use the truck. Especially if you need to get to those off-road areas. That's where it comes into play. You got the Multimatic suspension, which is high dollar equipment at this price point. 
And then you have all the other goodies from AEV. And they know what they're doing. They've been in business for a very long time. But I hope this has been a good kind of daily driving idea of what the ZR2 Bison is all about. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one of those crazy kind of days here on Radies Rides with a beefed up truck like this ZR2 Bison. Definitely wanna thank the whole Chevrolet team for getting us access to this history making truck. First ever ZR2 Bison on the Silverado platform. Let me know what you think. When you crunch the numbers, you look at all the data. Are you thinking that this is a performance truck worth the price? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up to the man behind the lens, Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. I know it's hot out here. We're gonna get you a snow cone. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.